Hi students, coming to the next topic uh, in operating system that is the segmentation. So what do you mean by this segmentation? Uh, so in the previous videos I explained about the paging concept. Now let us see the segmentation. A segmentation is nothing but it is a small unit of program. A program whatever you have written, that program is consisting of collection of segments. Means you can uh, call it as a modules. So the modules that are present in the program that you call it as a segmentation. So let me write a program, a program is a collection of segments or a process you can take. A program is a collection of segments. So here a segment is a logical unit. So whatever the program that consisting of uh, uh, that program is a collection of segment so exactly the segment is is just a logical unit such as main program so main program you call it as a segment or else you call a procedure that is present in the main program is a segment or a function which is present in the main program or outside the main program is also called as a segment or uh, local variables local variables global variables or common blocks common blocks or even stacks that are present in the program or the symbol tables that we use in the program or a process or even arrays so these are all called as a segments so this segments is nothing but it is a logical unit consisting of all these modules now let us see the logical view of segmentation so what exactly uh, how this uh, logical view i said the segmentation is a logical unit so now let us see the logical view of segmentation So let us take suppose this is this is a user space so user here user is that is a user program user let me write user space okay so this user pro process is having a set of uh, segments so this is one segment let us take this is a subroutine of the program subroutine and here suppose let us take the stack and here suppose if you take the symbol table and or else you can take the main program so in this user space the program so here whatever the user is giving the input so that user is cons uh, program consisting of set of segments so this is a collection of a program is a collection of segments so this completely a program this program is a collection of segments so this is a segment subroutine stack is one segment and symbol table and main memory so here the user specifies each address by two quantifiers the user always specifies user specifies each address so each segment is having some address right so each address by two quantities so what are those two quantities so with the help of segment name and segment offset offset is nothing but it's the address okay so each address so address of subroutine consisting of segment name that is a subroutine and the subroutine offset and stack name stack name offset and symbol table symbol table offset so if you know that segment name and the offset then the uh, cpu can uh, execute can get the data in that particular address location and execute the program so that everything is a logical view okay and whatever the result that you want to store in the main unit memory unit so that is the physical memory physical space so this is a logical address so this is completely stored in logical address so this logical address contains a tuples like what it is segment segment name and the 
offset. So the logical address consisting of this, uh, these two quantifiers. So that is a segment name and the offset. So let me explain with simple example. Uh, so just I am taking, suppose this is a user space and this is the physical memory. So the user space consisting of segments like 1, 2, 4, 3. So total they are having the uh, 4 segments. And here this is a memory unit. So 1, 4, 2, 3. So this is a logical address. This logical address space. And this is the physical memory space. So here the logical address space use the large programs. And these large programs will be converted, uh, uh, execute with the help of the CPU and stores in the physical memory space in the form of frames. So the physical memory consisting of frames. So uh, those uh, uh, segments will be stored in the physical memory space so in between this you are having the memory management unit so that memory management unit will be convert the logical address to the physical address so in the next video i'll explain about the segmentation architecture uh, with one example then you'll clearly understand how this segmentation will be done in the memory management unit thank you